Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, today I'm going to be telling you about some of my favorite perfumes, fragrances, body sprays that I like to use in the summer. These are really just scents that I feel embody summer and you know, depending on your vibe, if you like something more sweet, something more fresh, something very simple, I literally have it all and I cannot wait to tell you all about it. So let's go ahead and get started. Why am I clapping? <laughs> if you know me in real life, you know that I am terrified of smelling bad. Or I guess the better way to say it is that I just love smelling good. So naturally, I do try a lot of perfumes and everything that I'm sharing with you in this video really is the best of the best. So yeah, I'm very excited about this. Let's get started. The first two perfumes that I have are called Floral Marshmallow and Fruity Brown Sugar. And these are both from a company called Dossier. And if you have not heard of Dossier before, sit down and let me talk to you about them because they are going to save your life. Is that very dramatic? Yes, but you get the idea. So if you haven't heard of them, basically Dossier is a company that makes affordable versions of higher end perfumes. So essentially you get the same scent experience that you would get from these higher end perfumes, but you don't get the crazy price tag that comes along with those perfumes. So it really is a win-win situation for you. They have tons of scents on their website. If there's a popular high end fragrance that you have been wanting to try, I bet you that Dossier has a version of it on their website. So before paying like $200 for a perfume, probably go to their website first and just see if they have a version of it or if they have something with similar fragrance notes because why wouldn't you want to? Why wouldn't you want to save money, right? Right, you get me. Anyways, I have two fragrances from them that I have already been using and abusing and I know that summer technically hasn't started yet, but I already know that all summer I will be using these. Like I said, I have these scents Fruity Brown Sugar and Floral Marshmallow. I'm gonna start off with Fruity Brown Sugar because in my opinion, this is more of a daytime kind of scent. So this one is actually inspired by a scent from YSL and I'm not even going to try to pronounce it properly but this is the name of the original scent and I'll also include the price of the original scent. Whereas this was $40. Now, mind you, I have not smelled the YSL perfume to actually compare side by side if this is, like if it's actually accurate. But at this point, I don't even care because it just smells good. It just smells good as it is. This scent in particular, the name kind of tells you everything you need to know, fruity brown sugar. It's exactly what you think it's gonna smell like. The top notes, middle notes, and base notes are actually all written on the bottle here, so I'll just read that for you. So the top notes are bergamot, raspberry, and pear, three things that I love in fragrances. The middle notes are jasmine, orange blossom, and brown sugar. And then the base notes are patchouli, amber, and vanilla. So this really is just a dream, like if you like a floral perfume that's also a little bit sweet but not too sweet this is definitely a good option it's just a good balance of floral and sweet the second scent that i have from dossier is called floral marshmallow and again the name really tells you everything you need to know i think that this is like the nighttime older sister version of this this is definitely more sweet than fruity brown sugar and it is actually a little spicy as well. So this is actually inspired by the fragrance Love Don't Be Shy by Killian, which I have always wanted to try. But again, because of the price, I was like, I'm not, I'm not paying for that. Mm -mm. So when I saw on Dossier's website that they have their version of it, I had to try it. And let me tell you, I am so glad that I did. So the top notes in here, of course, we have marshmallow, neroli, and bergamot. The middle notes are orange blossom, honeysuckle, jasmine, and orris. And then the base notes are amber, vanilla, and musk. So just based off of the notes, you probably heard some similar ones. There is some crossover. This is the stronger, sweeter version of this. But if you like one, you'll definitely like the other. And that's why I wanted to group them together in this video. Floral Marshmallow, I have been wearing this almost on a daily basis. I wear it to work all the time and I get so many compliments on it. It's a very unique scent. Like when you think Floral Marshmallow, your mind might immediately run to like Bath and Body Works, how their scents are very specific. Like if they say cherry blossom, like you are in a cherry blossom field. But this definitely is more nuanced and I think it's a little deeper and it has more character than something like 
a body spray you know what i mean and i'm not hating on body sprays i love body sprays but i do think that this is like the mature version of something like that but yes those are my two perfumes from dossier the next perfume that i have to talk about um it's reflective so i'm not sure how to show you properly so i'll show you like from the side so this is from the company dkny i'm not sure if there's another way to say their name but that's how i'm gonna say it and this is their fragrance called be delicious now what does this look like okay what is the shape of this kind of like an apple right and let me tell you this smells exactly like if you took a green apple and a pear and a cucumber and you blended it up and made a smoothie and then you put that smoothie all over your body that is exactly what this smells like it is so so good for the longest time i thought that this perfume was called juicy because when i wear it i just feel juicy like i just feel i feel like a pear i'm pretty sure you understand the scent based off of that description alone it is very sweet but it's not sweet in the way that vanilla based perfumes are sweet so for example like i said floral marshmallow is very sweet and a little bit spicy whereas this is sweet in a completely different way this is sweet in like a fruity way whereas this is sweet in you know a marshmallow vanilla type of way so that's why floral marshmallow is more of a nighttime kind of scent whereas i would say be delicious is definitely a daytime scent and this is another perfume that i get so many compliments when i wear it i feel like it's very difficult to convey my feelings about fragrance because it's not like makeup like i can't just show you how it works i have to do my best to describe it and i know i'm not the best at that but i'm trying okay like i said it's exactly like a pear a green apple and a cucumber it's just fruity and sweet and juicy and if people are walking by they might want to bite you so just be careful another scent that i've actually been using throughout spring and now leading into summer this is the replica scent i was about to say in the shade um in the scent the scent in the scent you know what I mean. Um, it's called Lazy Sunday Morning, and I'm sure you've heard about this before. This is, of course, the travel size version. Because I'm not paying the price for the full bottle, I would rather repurchase this 18 times. This smells exactly like fresh laundry and skin after you've just taken like the most amazing shower. That's the best way that I can describe this. You just smell clean and I love clean fragrances and what I mean is not necessarily by you know ingredient like to be classified as a clean fragrance um, I mean like I like to smell clean I like to smell like I just came out of a shower like I just had the best massage of my life in the spa you know what I mean I've never been to a spa but this is what I imagine that it would smell like inside of a spa. It really does smell like a Sunday morning. Like you just wash your sheets, you put on your fresh sheets, and now you're just relaxing in bed, reading a book. You have some tea with you. Life is good. That is what this smells like. And this is the scent that I actually wear to the gym. And I know you're probably thinking, why are you wearing perfume to the gym? My answer is leave me alone. I like to smell nice. Of course, I understand that the gym is a public space where sometimes you are in very close proximity to other people. And you probably wouldn't want to go to the gym wearing any of the other three perfumes that I just shared with you. Because again, they're very strong, very sweet, very floral. And while they do smell amazing, it's not necessarily appropriate for like a gym. Also, like if you're looking for a scent to wear, wow, I just realized I have like mascara all over my fingers. Who was going to tell me? Um, like I was saying, if you're looking for a fragrance to wear to like an office or something, like if you're going to work, but you don't want to be like overpowering and, you know, giving people headaches, this is a very good option. It's very light and it's very just clean. However, this is not the most long lasting scent. All of the perfumes that I've just shown you, they have incredible lasting power. Like you don't need to reapply, you know, you spray once in the morning and you're good all day. Whereas this is definitely one that I feel like you would need to like touch up during the day. But I can live with that because it is just such a good scent and I have not been able to find anything like this anywhere else. I used to really love the fragrance um, skin from the brand Clean Reserve. I have used probably five of those travel versions of that scent and they are a little similar but this one actually has a longer lasting power than that one so what does that say that's why now i've kind of converted over to this team 
this is so so good so those are all of the fragrances that i know i will be using non-stop all summer daytime nighttime gym time i feel like these four fragrances really have you covered in all the categories you know we have our sweets we have our floral we have our daytimes our nighttimes our cleans our spices i'm not the best at describing things am i <laughs> I feel like these four fragrances really cover all the bases in terms of what you might want for summer. I do hope that this video was helpful to you in some way, shape, or form. And I will have links to all of these perfumes in the description of this video. If you want to check them out, they will be down there for you. And I'm running out of breath, so that's how I know it's time to stop filming. But yes, that is pretty much it for this video. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!